I bought these attractive uh, Costco lantern about four years ago. They're LEDs and they're supposed to last, I imagine, longer than uh, the four years that uh, I have them. Um, this one works fine. The other one flickers now, flashes, which is very annoying. And the problem is the driver inside the, the lights that convert the 110 volts to a DC uh, low voltage of uh, six to eight volts. Those drivers go bad and have to be replaced. The problem is it's fairly easy to replace it. The problem I'm afraid is that once you replace it, you know, the same problem might happen a couple years down the road. So I believe there is a better solution that is to replace the LED uh, feature with a standard either incandescent or LED light bulb. So I removed the light from the wall. It's a lot easier for me to work inside my work uh, workroom than it is to uh, to work outside. So, but before I take it apart, I wanted to share some of the uh, tools that I used. So obviously, various type of screwdriver, small Phillips, medium, and uh, and a flathead uh, wire stripper and a uh, crimper. Also, I have a little knife here, which works fine. Uh, you'll need that uh, little rod. I better leave it there. And uh, obviously, uh, a light a light bulb uh, assembly. Two little wire nut. Uh, I I'm using um, a butt connector with shrink. Uh, Heat shrink wrap, but you don't have to do that. You can just use uh, the uh, the wire nuts, and this is what I get from uh, from Amazon. And I'll, I'll post the, uh, uh, the the link if somebody's interested in doing that. But if not, just use wire nut. That works fine. Um, so the first thing first thing to do is to remove the two screws that hold the uh, the thing together. There's one here, one on the other side. So I'll do that, and then I'll. Uh, I'll come back. Okay, so I removed, I removed the uh, the screws, and then you can take the whole glass assembly, put it aside, and then you can see you have two screws holding the plate and four screws holding the uh, uh, the LED. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do next. So I removed the plate that that has the uh, LED on there. I cut the back of it so I could pull it out. And now what I'm going to do is drill a hole. So you need a 3 8 uh, drill bit to go right in the middle and uh, drill a hole so you can insert that little uh, lamp rod to connect to the light bulb holder and connect the wires. So, um, I'm going to do that in a second, in a minute. The next step is to remove the driver that's back here and cut all the wires except the feed coming from the uh, from the uh, AC power. So all those wires will be gone. The one connecting to the uh, sensor, all that be gone, this will be gone, everything. So I am going to do that next. So I already loosen up the, the two screws holding the driver in place. There is one, and there is two. Okay. Take the two wire nuts here, and obviously, if you do that when the lamp is still on the on the on the wall, make sure that you turn the power off, turn the breaker off. Um, remove these and separate that. Now you have the driver, um, so we're not going to use it. And then I'm going to cut those wires because I don't need them anymore. because my, uh, my lamp, a light feature, is connected to, uh, to a switch. So I don't need it. I turn it on when I want to, and I turn it off. So that, I can remove this if I want. It's a little cleaner. OK. And then what I'll do next is I'll drill a hole here in the plate and uh, connect my, uh, my wiring. Bit. OK. Let's try that again. Here we go. 
And then I put a retaining nut in the back so the thing doesn't doesn't get itself loose. And then I'll get a, a quick pair of pliers. Take this and tighten it up. That's it. So it's very simple. The next step is really to connect these two together, the white to the white, the neutral to neutral, the black, which is hot to the, to the incoming. And then you can you do it two ways. You can either use a wire nut if you want to, which is, I'm sure, perfectly fine. Um, a little picky, so, and I'm coming from a marine environment where everything has to be uh, well protected because the water and the salt will ruin everything. So you can use one of those butt connectors uh, I can crimp this side just to hold it in place and then I can take the uh, the white one the white wire which as I said is the neutral put it there crimp it crimp it well and then do the same thing with the uh, Do the same thing with the regular wire. Then you s slide this thing on, use some heat, and put it through. So where's my other butt connector? I just, here it is. So I put the other one on, like so. Put a little crimp, just to hold it. This one in there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then push this one in. And then you can use a uh, lighter. You can use a butane torch. You can use whatever you want to, to seal them, to heat them, and they'll, they'll shrink. Once this is done, you uh, reconnect this here, the two screws. And you put the light bulb, and it's good to go. Now, this one is the one that I've done already. Okay, so I'm gonna I plug the extension cord into the outlet. The, the The bigger side is the neutral, so I put this guy in there, and then I take the uh, and here is the you light. Go. Here you go. So I have a 60 watt uh, light bulb, uh, or equivalent to 60 watt. Um, it's going to be very bright. If you want something that's more in line with what the LED provided, then you may want to go with a you know with a smaller uh, 40 watts or something like that. But you know I wanted a little bit extra light, so that works out fine for me. So thanks for watching, folks. Uh, and uh, as I said, I hope this uh, this was helpful. Bye bye.